people assume that all galleries are in kind of the posh side of the city and um, are only for a certain type of clientele. I'm right around the corner from the Sheffield Wednesday football ground and um, when I set up here the gallery was sandwiched between a betting shop and a laundrette. The laundrette is still here but the betting shop has moved 20 years ago um, in August 1991 and it's grown from two units down here to a sculpture garden and a long gallery and a jewellery gallery upstairs and a picture framing department across the road. I wanted people to want to pay for artwork. I was sick to death of meeting creative people that were packing it in because they couldn't make a living out of it. And, and I just think that's, that's awful, that breaks my heart. So I want people um, to celebrate you know, um, those creative individuals. The gallery is filled with hundreds of different personalities showing their creative um, skills and talents. And, and that to me is what's so exciting. And that to me is when people come along, they've always got at least an hour to, to have a look at things because there's so much to look at. And sometimes people complain there's too much to look at. So they have to come back, oh dear. <laughs> We do free chocolate cake every Saturday. We do free hot drinks to all our visitors. We do opening evenings with you know, alcohol to encourage you to part with your money. We keep kids' toys in the basement. It's all about come in and have a look. I want to create an atmosphere where nobody feels uncomfortable about walking through the door, but where artists still feel good about seeing their work on the walls. And, and it's getting that balance right. There are a over 300 artists and fine craft makers in the gallery in stock at any one time. You, um, there are things from a couple of pounds up to five, six thousand pounds. There's local, regional, national and international artists. I'm still an artist myself. I think that's really, really important um, because I understand and I connect to um, other artists and creative people. I can share my passion and my understanding of that craft to customers and yeah that connection is is really important. The gallery is very personal to me and I was always happy to share kind of me and my family and my personality with my customers and and my customers kind of do that back really and and it is yeah I mean I have customers that have been my customers for as long as I've been open and people would say well have they got any wall space and the answer is no. <laughs> You have your ups and downs, but the thought of the gallery not being here anymore, I can't deal with. I've lived in the gallery. In order to expand it to create more space, the only way I could do that was to move in, so I moved in. <laughs> and my front room was a gallery space. It is completely part of my life and I'm really passionate. My husband's joke was, you always said you were going to do it for a couple of years and then pack it in and then it was, oh, a few more, oh, it's, not, oh, I'm, I just want to, you know, and then all of a sudden, 20 years, you're going, 20, 20, 20 <laughs> what happened? Where did, where did that go? Let's see if I can really engage that spirit, that energy that I had when I started. Um, and I hope I've still got it, but I want to make people ex as excited about the gallery, you know, in the 20th anniversary as I was when I started it 20 years ago.